Sister love, one who always knows when you're feeling low. Sister love. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel today. Today's just me doing story time. Naisha is at school. I think she's on her way home, but hey. So don't forget to follow us on Instagram and don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel because you know we got to get them likes up and, you know, pull in more subscribers to our channel. All right, so today I'm going to do my story time. So let's get okay, right guys. in. So my story time today, the topic is why do men cheat? <laughs> it's kind of funny because I kind of sort of think that most men cheat I'm not gonna say all because I've never been with all or I've never experienced you know all men or heard story about all men so most men I have no idea why most men cheat whether you're in a committed relationship whether you're married whether you're just I've been just a serious little fling. It doesn't matter. It's still considered cheating. So, I don't know. Why? Like, you, you, you there's, I don't, you, you, there's, I don't think there's ever an answer to that because everyone have a different opinion, a different definition. Everyone just have different things and if you let them tell it, they don't cheat. Even when you, even when they get caught, they tell you. But she got me on the counter. Wasn't me. So you just stuck like, okay, so I know what I saw. Or I know what I heard, but you know, it's just men. So, okay. Some men cheat because they say things is not the same at home anymore or I'm not getting certain things at home and I'm getting it outside. So my thing is, why not just end things here and start all over outside? Why stay here? Trying to act like, okay, I wanna be here when technically you don't because there's no way, there's no way you could be here and then you're saying that, okay, I'm not getting this here, I'm not getting that, and, you know, stuff like that. Don't get it all twisted, females. Like, sometimes I do know, you know, that we have our little faults. We have our, you know, there's certain things about us sometimes that, you know, a guy just don't want to deal with. And sometimes as females, we have to look into ourselves as well. But we're not taking the blame. Because if you don't want to be here anymore, I suggest you leave. You end things and just move on. There's no need to stay here and still out there. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, I don't know. Like, that is a, a topic that has been baffling me. And it's to the point where I want to know, like, some reasons why. And I just can't seem to understand it. I don't think I'll ever understand it. And... Men just give you every, like, they just come up with a bunch of excuses. And to me, they're not valid. They're not. Because as a female, I'm not going to say females don't cheat. So don't get don't get me wrong, because I, I believe both sides cheat. But when it all comes down to it, I just feel like a guy cheats way more than a female. Like, when a female will tell you, like, I right, bet, like this is not going to work anymore it's not working out for me and you know i'm just going to move on or you know like i rather see you happy because most females are honest unlike some guys they continue to lead you on and they continue to lead you into the hole bury your ass in the hole because they know once they get you right where they want you like you it's hard for you to let go and that's kind of wrong but i can't blame no one but you can't blame no one but yourself for that because at the end of the day, you see all the signs and you still stay, you know? Sometimes you're waiting for him to just like change and I'm sorry, but sometimes these men just, they never change. They don't. Like, okay, he cheated. Why did you stay? I'm not 
ever going to tell you to leave because I, I understand when you love someone, it's hard for you to walk away and it's hard for you to leave. Some people have a problem starting over. Some people have a problem just like walking away and leaving everything behind. Like, But sometimes you have to be strong and you have to stay true to yourself. And whether that means losing everything, starting all over, sometimes you just got to... You got to put your big, you know, your big girl clothes on and just be like, listen, I'm doing it and I'm leaving and I'm getting out of here. Because to me, sometimes shit, it never get better. It just don't get better sometimes. Sometimes you feel like staying and working it out and I forgive you like it's going to change. And sometimes it just don't change because I've seen it happen. I've heard stories and sometimes I always say coming back to someone after they cheated or after they left you and stuff like that. You want it to work so bad that you you go back. Because in your heart, like, this is the person I want to be with. And, of course, I believe in second chances. I believe in forgiving someone. I believe in giving them ten chances if all that matters sometimes. Because, you know, sometimes you just have that soft spot. You just have that heart that, you know, the heart wants what it wants. But like I explained before, your heart wants something, but your mind, no, that's not it. Like, your mind, no, that is going to it's gonna mess up your brain. It's going to just corrupt it. And the heart is like, that's what I and the heart is like, I can't live without you, but that's not it. So all I'm saying is, if someone cheats and you decide to be with that person, I can only hope and I could only pray sometimes that it works out and that person decide to change your life. Sometimes, honestly, I don't feel like they can change. They probably just got better at doing it, but... I still think that they still entertain other people and it goes both ways male or female so I'm not here bashing any guy I'm not here bashing any female because at the end of the day like we're both at fault where we both cheat men cheat females cheat it's just that to me a female I just don't feel like you're just going to get up and just cheat like that. Like, a, a man doesn't have a reason to cheat sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Like, they just don't. Like, okay, I go outside, and they're in a club, or they go out, you know, with their boys, they're chilling, and they just see eye candy. And that just let them be like, oh, can I get your number? And then the lies begin. And then, you know, they know they're married. They know they have someone at home. But here they are telling someone, I'm single. Really? You know you're not single. You know that. And then they try to get that person wherever they want them. But sometimes, you know, us females are naive too because he got to go home every night. He can't answer his phone after a certain time. He doesn't respond to you. He doesn't answer your calls every time. So that alone, I think, should be red flags. And that alone, I know, should be like, Okay, so what is he doing? All right, he said he doesn't have anyone. Okay, but yet still, sometimes you stay. And then it gets, you're now you're all in because he's lying and you're believing his lies. And then, boom, he drop a bomb. I'm married. Or I live with someone and here you are, lost. You're just lost because at this point you already fall for this person to know that they're cheating on that person with you and now you're stuck because now it's hard for you to to just like walk away from it and even though you tell yourself like you know what it's okay all right I don't want to do this anymore but he keeps calling he keeps texting oh I gotta see you oh I miss you so much oh you know I love you Oh, I just want things to work out with you. The lies and the lies just don't stop. Now, whoever he lives with probably start finding out something. Now she's blaming the other female. Not knowing how the other female got into the situation. And the same thing goes for a guy. When he finds out, it's like it's the end of the world. Now he want to kill you. Why? Why? I don't get it. We don't want to kill no one. So why you want to kill the female? 
All I'm saying is, it's not good to cheat. If you know you don't want to be in a committed relationship or you don't want to be married to someone or you don't want to be stay faithful, I rather I just rather you just be like, "Listen, I just want to have fun and I want to date." It's up to you to decide if you want to stay in that. It's up to you to decide if you can handle that or you want to be a part of it. That's what I think. So if you know you just want to be out there then be like, "Listen, I just want to date." All right, we could be in an open relationship. Are you okay with that? If you're okay with that, then with all means, go ahead. I don't agree in open relationships. To me, I just don't agree with open relationships. Just the same like I just don't agree with um, I'm in a relationship with you. I'm in a relationship with you. Uh, no. To me, it's still cheating because how do you feel within yourself? Men have a tendency of just cheating and it just never stops. So sometimes I question like, what 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 do they want that one woman can give it to them why did you decide to be with someone if you know everything that you desire you cannot get it from this one person no no one is perfect absolutely not but of course there's going to be qualities in a person that you see you're gonna listen you're never gonna get someone that's perfect you're never going to get someone that's going to have everything that you want when you just met that person. Sometimes you're going to have to mold them a little bit. Make them into that person that you want. Make them into this person that, okay, I see myself with for a lifetime. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Or, you know, like, all right, I can build. We could build together. You know, like, we could do this. And it's likewise for a man. Sometimes... There's a lot of qualities in a man that you don't even like sometimes. But as us female, we try to stay and then we try to help that person or try to change them or make them, you know, change them certain ways that, you know, for, that you want for yourself. Not knowing that we're changing them for somebody else. A man don't normally change a woman or try to mold her for someone else because to me, a woman is more set settle upstairs like you know like she'll settle but a man sometimes will be like nah now all these shorties start calling you now all these people start noticing you that didn't notice you before and you're not gonna be like us that gonna be like nah i'm gonna stay down with this one because this one was there for me no a man is gonna be gone or entertaining them even though he knows like okay she did a lot for me. She helped me. She pushed me. She gave me all of this. Like she stood behind me through thick and thin. Now all of that just went through it all. Like he just like forget all about that. And then when this person now leave him high and dry, then he comes running back. And now he starts saying he's sorry and oh, he didn't mean to do it. But that don't mean you're supposed to cheat. I don't get it. And I'll never understand why a man cheats. And... I cannot, like I rep I said this before, like I cannot tell someone to leave their cheating spouse or partner or baby father, baby mother. Like I can't tell you that. And it's up to you if you want to stay. But my thing is after you cheat sometimes is no coming back. The only way I can see it coming back and that's when a person really and truly loves you. I must say, if someone really and truly loves you, love you that much, and they just made an honest mistake or they just messed up, because I can't really say it's an honest mistake because they know honesty in making that mistake, but they messed up. Things happen. It's life. We're tempted. We do things, you know? Temptation is always going to be in the way. So just say something happened. And you decide to take that person back. If that person really and truly love you, you best believe when they come back, they're going to come back like a whole new person. Because they have to prove to you that this is what I want. This is where I want to be. And I don't want to have no problems with you or me stepping out again. And if there's any issues that may cause them to just step out, you know, you never know. Maybe they spoke to you about something and you just didn't, you refused to listen. Maybe. You just never know. So at that point, you're going to start listening more to the person. You're going to start having these, 
you know, heart to heart. You're going to start, you know, doing new things. And, you know, this person going to start being more involved and, you know, coming around more and stuff like that. But some I'm not saying it always don't work. But for me, sometimes there's just no coming back because distraction is a hell of a thing. So I would say to all the people that are out there that's cheating, I think it's time for you to just be honest with yourself and just let it be known what you want. If this is not what you want, I would rather you just say so. But most men, they're not going to say that. I don't know why. they rather have one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how, like, how do they balance? How do they juggle? But it works for some. And it's been working. And... Or maybe I should say they think it's working, not realizing that it's not working for the female <laughs> because there's no female that's going to be with someone that they can't really get to talk to every day. They don't really see all the time. Like, no, nah, she's going to she's gonna be entertaining someone else. She's going to be talking to somebody else, somebody else that's showing her attention, somebody else that's giving her love. So I can't even really say... Like, you know, you're going to cheat with two, three, four, five person because at the end of the day, it's not going to, it's not going to work. It's not going to work for too long. Like, it's not. So, cheating, I think it's just a never ending cycle and there's no way to go around it because as they said, temptation is always going to be in the way and remember guys, think with their, down there, <laughs> they don't think with this when they see temptation it's not like a female and i'm not really just being on the female side with this cheating thing but i really think a guy cheats way more than a female and i honestly feel like if i i have someone at home it doesn't matter what you're offering me it doesn't matter what i see in front of me there's nothing when i say nothing i mean there's nothing that you could do to make me step out and cheat on the person that i have at home or the person that i'm committed to or i you know that in, i love this person so you can't come and flash anything or anything of the sort just to make me be like okay forget about you oh i have all of this because stuff like that it don't last guys will have everything at home and still still go out there why because of temptation and they can't resist temptation we can resist it but they just can't yeah cheating it's a very hot topic and it's something that you will never get to bottom of but as a spouse male female it doesn't matter you have to be the one to know what you're gonna deal with how you gonna go about it and you have to be the one to put a stop to it like I'm not dealing with this anymore this is not where I want to be anymore or I'm not saying you're gonna find a perfect relationship because I there's no such thing as a perfect relationship it doesn't really matter if someone tells you like oh I have the perfect this it's not perfect it's it's not perfect just don't just take it from me it's not perfect it, it I'm not saying because it's not perfect that means it has to involve cheating it has to involve abuse it ha it's just not because everyone has something in their relationship that they just deals with because this is the person they want to be with but that doesn't mean you're supposed to cheat because i don't think it i don't think it's it, i don't it's never that serious to cheat like if you don't want to be here anymore like i said just end things just be like, it's not working out anymore. I want to see you happy. I'm not happy at the moment. I don't know if I could be happy with you anymore. I want you to be happy. I get it. I might hurt your feelings a little bit or, you know, you might be hurt, but I'd rather let you go. I'd I rather, you know, know that you're happy than you're with me and I'm not happy because that's going to lead to you cheating and why you still want to come home and come lay up the next to somebody and you know you out there cheating like ew ew mm -mm. so ladies and gentlemen this is my story time for this week i hope you enjoy it see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe 
hit like and share and share and share. Okay, guys, thank you for listening and I'll be back again pretty soon with another one. All right, bye.